a year ago, I was coming straight out of a network marketing company, and my wife had reached out to a few mentors, and they actually, they actually set me aside. They told me that they would give me some information, how to get to the next level, how to be a better person, how to build my business. But what happened was, they gave me a false sense of hope, because when I spent all my money to get to Anaheim, California, he pushed me to a side to someone else say, hey, I'll talk to you later, talk to him right now. And I never heard from him all the way from there. So I was in Anaheim, California with no place, no place to lay my head. A friend of mine let me stay in a hotel with him. And when I got back home, I was clearly upset because I tried to give my uh, a person one more chance. One more chance to give me what I needed in life to be successful. And what happened was, when I got home, I cried to my wife. I told her, in order to get somewhere, I need someone who's going to pull me up. I don't have anyone in my life to give me the next level. Scrolling through my feed, came across a friend of mine who I'd been friends for about maybe two years already. He was a speaker. He was already an author. And I saw some of the work that he was putting in. And I took a chance. I gave a person one more chance. And I said, you know what? Can I, uh, can I talk to you for a moment? I want to pick your brain about business. I want to pick your brain about some of the things that I have that I want to do in life. Do you think you can help me with finding a mentor or a coach? He said, sure, let me get, let me get your phone number. We're going to talk. He gave my phone number. He instantly texted me. This is Mike Burks. Yes, sir. He said, I'm going to call you in a minute. That night, we had a phone call, phone call for about an hour. He spoke to me about my dreams, what I wanted to do. And we went through an assessment. Now, let me tell you. We went through an assessment that gave me, I had to tell, ask myself, what are the most three important things in my life? And out of those three things, I averaged out to a 40% out of 100. That's how much effort I was putting into what I love. It crushed my heart, because one of those things was family. So I was literally giving 37% to my family at the time. And he said, the, part, the good part about this is, I can help you get, get better. I was like, how? He said, I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to trust me. I said, okay, I got you. So we've been rocking for a year. A year ago, I was a person looking for a business to mama get into, looking for something that, for me to do personally, looking for something for me to get my life in order, someone to make some money better myself. I, I've been in IT for 15 years, project manager. I want it out. People have told me all my life, I should not be behind someone's desk. <clears throat> I should own my own business. A year later, I do own my consulting business. I am a speaker, two-time award-winning author, and a coach. Because of the information that was given to me and the investment I put into myself. But it came from being something, a concept that he gave me, and I'm, we're going to share the concept with you tonight. You heard it say all throughout here, 1% more. Uh, for a minute before he speaks about it, I want you to think to yourself, right now, in your pocket, you have 40 pennies. Let's say 49. You're a little, well, 50. Everybody has 50 pennies in their pocket. What we want to do is give you 50 pennies for the next 50 days. Well, one penny for the next 50 days. If I gave you one penny for the next 50 days, you're already 50, about 50, 50 pennies more in your pocket. It's going to give you a dollar. What do you think would happen if you were 1% more every day for the rest of your life? How much better would you be in 50 days, 90 days, two years? 